In this video, we're going to look at esterification. Esterification is the reaction of an alcohol with a carboxylic acid to form an ester and water. Esters are the substances that smell nice, the organic substances that smell like strawberry, banana, vanilla essence, almond essence, etc. And they are made up of alcohols and carboxylic acids. This reaction takes place with the help of a catalyst, sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is also a dehydrating agent. In the process, we form an ester and water. Here I've given the alkyl group, which could represent a carbon or any number of carbons with a hydroxyl, the alcohol. And the carboxylic acid has a carboxyl group attached to an alkyl group. The R's represent any number of carbon atoms in a chain. We're going to look at two examples, first of all, which I will guide you through. If methanol, or alcohol, reacts with propanoic acid, or carboxylic acid, you will form methyl propanoate and water. The first part of the name comes from the alcohol. In this case, we had methanol, so the name of the ester starts with methyl. The carboxylic acid is propanoic acid, so the second part of the ester's name it is uh, propanoate. So methanol and prop propanoic acid form methyl propanoate. If we look at the second example, propanol with methanoic acid will form propyl methanoate as your ester. Let's go through the synthesis. The alcohol has the hydroxyl group. The carboxylic acid has a carboxyl group. To form the water, the alcohol gives the hydrogen and the carboxylic acid gives the OH. And these together make the water. Esterification reactions are also called condensation reactions because water is formed in all the ester reactions. So we take the hydrogen from the alcohol, the OH from the carboxylic acid, and then we just join this oxygen to that carbon. There it is. And it makes a link between the alcohol and the carboxylic acid. The green part was from our alcohol, methanol. The red part was from our carboxylic acid, propanoic acid. So the name is methyl propanoate. The triangle represents heat. These two would be added in a test tube in a water bath and they are heated in a water bath for safety reasons because the alcohols are flammable and the H2SO4 is your catalyst. The second example, the alcohol is propanol and the carboxylic acid is methanoic acid. Propanol, three carbons and the hydroxyl group, the H from the hydroxyl bonds with the OH from the carboxylic acid to form your water. So all I've done here is I've written the carboxylic acid part first, just so that you can get used to writing it different ways. And then I've flipped the rest of this molecule and attached it to the carboxylic acid part. So your carboxylic acid was methanoic acid. Your alcohol was propanol. So the name of this ester is propyl methanoate. The molecular formula is the same for both of these esters. They both have four carbons, eight hydrogens and two oxygens. They are positional isomers. You can see they have the same functional group, the double bond O and the O in the chain, double bond O and the O in the chain. It's just the position that is different. So they are called positional isomers. Our next two examples, I've put them up. I would like you to pause the video and try to write out the synthesis of these two reactions. Firstly, where butanol reacts with ethanoic acid and propanol reacts with propanoic acid. We will look at butanol and ethanoic acid reacting together. But means four carbons, so butanol is your hydroxyl for the alcohol and your carboxyl for your carboxylic acid, the two carbons, because it's ethanoic acid. The H 
comes off the alcohol, bonds with the OH from the carboxylic acid to make the water. Always write your water molecule as angular, never draw it in a straight line, HOH, because the water molecule is not linear. So there's your ester. The first part of the name comes from the alcohol, which was butanol. The second part of the name comes from the, est uh, the carboxylic acid, which was ethanoic acid. So therefore the name is butyl ethanoate. Here is the answer for the next question. Propanol, I have put the hydroxyl group on the left hand side, the functional group of the carboxylic acid, the carboxyl group on the right hand side, just to make things a little bit different. The H from the alcohol bonds to the OH from the carboxylic acid. So in this example I've written the ester the other way around to what we have been doing it. The carboxylic acid part is first, the alcohol part is second. So get used to seeing these uh, structural formulas in other ways as well. These two esters are positional isomers as well. Try to route out the formation of another positional isomer of these two esters. Here's another example, slightly more complicated. Try to uh, figure this one out. Here is the answer. Ethanol, two carbons, with three methyl butanoic acid. Now carboxylic acids have their functional group on the end, but this one has a methyl side chain. So we have to start numbering from the right hand side where our functional group is. So the methyl group is on carbon number three, one, two, three. The methyl group is on the third carbon, three methyl butanoic acid. There's your carboxyl group, you start numbering where the carboxyl group is. Everything works exactly the same as all the other examples. The hydrogen from the alcohol, the OH from the carboxylic acid, and you join them together. This name is ethyl 3-methyl butanoate. And then because we form water in all of these reactions, remember that it is also known as a condensation reaction. Now for some practice. Pause the video and try to write out the names of the following eight esters. Here are the names of those eight esters so that you can check your answers. Here are the names of nine esters. Pause the video and try to write the structure for each one. I will go through, briefly go through the answer of each one. Methyl butanoate. Methyl would come from methanol. So there's your carbon with one oxygen and the link to your butanoic acid part which is now butanoate. Propyl pentanoate would be from propanol and pentanoic acid, butyl methanoate from butanol and methanoic acid, methyl heptanoate from methanol and heptanoic acid, hexyl methanoate would be from hexanol, your single bond O is from your alcohol, and methanoic acid. I think by this stage you realize how this works. So I'm going to put up the next answers for you. Just pause the video and mark your work. Here are the last four answers. Pause the video and mark your work.